Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do something new with you. I thought I'd do some of my favourite books and this is a series I'm hoping to start. Um, and when I say books, I'm not just talking about fiction. I thought I'd do some poetry, uh, maybe non-fiction, some uh, photo books as well, because I'm really into photography. And I've got some lovely photo books to show you guys at some point. Uh, but today I thought I'd start with fiction. And specifically, I thought I'd start with this book, which is The Blindfold by Siri Hustved. Um, and let me just read to you the back quickly and then I'll tell you a little bit about it. So Iris Vegan is a graduate student at Columbia University in New York whose vivid encounters with a series of strange and sometimes nameless characters are powerful enough to convince the reader that the world previously seen as normal has completely ceased to exist. Um, so what this is, is it's a book in different parts and I probably should have checked this before. There are how many different parts to it? My favourite part, while I'm trying to find it, is the last one, which is part four. Um, and so it's following Iris Vegan, um, who sort of... She experiences some very difficult times. She has no money. Um, and she's quite alienated at points in the book and she kind of um, it's about identity and sort of the way that we um, kind of view ourselves and other people view us and so she sort of at one point in my favorite part and this isn't really a spoiler she dresses as a man she's um, she's editing a short story um, for a professor of hers and um, it's a German short story and the lead character Klaus has all of these terrible um, fantasies like he, he fantasizes about killing things and Iris runs out of money um, she's got nowhere to like she's living somewhere but she can barely afford to eat and what she does is she goes around she dresses up at night time in a man's suit that she's borrowed in a previous section and she goes around and she um, calls herself Klaus and she lives this life and it's sort of a reaction to the things that have happened to her and around her and also um, she's kind of struggling to work herself out really um, and to know who she is and whether whether she's good or bad in a way as well um, so yeah it's a really it's a really interesting look at kind of identity and when I first read it I was 17 uh, now I'm 28 and I really kind of identified with the character of Iris and I still do and I have done all through she's kind of I think she's meant to be like 22 23 in the book and still you know throughout that whole period of my life um I kind of I still kept this sort of resonance with her as a character and that kind of sense of um looking for yourself or kind of the things the, the things that make you up and define you and there's some really beautiful moments in this book uh, just fabulous ideas um, it starts and she goes to the um, she's looking for work and she goes to the house of a man called Mr Morning and Mr Morning has these artifacts so things like a cotton wool bud with makeup left on it stuff like that and he's cataloguing them so he asked her to take an artifact away and record her thoughts onto a dictaphone. And that's that's what, you know, that's it. He And he doesn't want her to um, use her speaking voice. He wants her to whisper because whispering is more impersonal. And so you get these strange kind of disembodied facts about this object, which then to her transform into kind of looking at a person. Um, and she becomes too kind of into it eventually and she has to you know she she wants to know more about this person and she kind of she gets a bit she gets a bit too uh into it and mr morning feels like she can't continue with that and she too feels like she can't continue um but yeah it is a really fantastic book it's not i mean it was siri hustved's first book 
and it's not the best well written thing in the world in places there's some nice passages but it kind of my bugbear is always the last line which really upsets me um it's just not not as great as I'd like it but I mean some of the ideas and some of the kind of some of the descriptions of New York and the descriptions of the things that Iris is going through are really powerful and it's really worth reading um I'll probably review more Siri Hustved at points because I've read everything she's written I just think she's great um and she kind of she's matured as a writer so much from when she wrote this which I think was 1993 yeah yeah, 1993. So she's really kind of matured since then. But anyway, yeah, please do check this book out. If you haven't heard of Siri Hustved, check her out. She is fantastic. Um, and it's really, really worth, yeah, really worth reading. Really is. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like it, please comment. I'd love to hear from people. I'm still new to this, so... As, you know, I'd like to open up a dialogue and all the rest of it. Please subscribe if you like what I do and I should be back again soon. Bye guys.